The American system is unique and precious because it is not an oligarchy. It's not supposed to be an oligarchy. What's an oligarchy, right? An oligarchy is a very few people at the top who have become dominant, right? Uh, you can have that with a monarchy. You can have it uh, uh, in a socialist type system, in a communist system. The, the Politburo in the Soviet Union was an oligarchy that ran everything. Uh, Mussolini in Italy, he had his own Politburo under him. Hitler, of course, had his. Uh, he, he didn't call it the same as what they called it in the Soviet Union, but it was the small group that ruled. Uh, it's not supposed to be what's happening here in America. Here we're supposed to have self-rule. The people are supposed to rule themselves, and the government is supposed to be limited. Uh, the Constitution limiting the powers of government. All right? Uh, I like to point to the Constitution, uh, the, the very first sentence in it. All bills for raising, no, excuse me, uh, all legislative powers herein granted are vested in Congress. Now, I, I usually say to my audience that I think everybody here knows what all means. It doesn't mean 70% or 90%, it means 100%, right? So all legislative powers are in Congress, right? But you've all heard that a Supreme Court decision is the law of the land, haven't you? Well, how can that be? Should a Supreme Court decision be the law of the land? Not according to the Constitution, it shouldn't be, because all lawmaking power is in Congress. So what then is a Supreme Court decision? It's the law of the case. And most of the Supreme Court decisions should be, we have no decision, it's not a federal matter, and hand it back down to the states and to the people themselves. Instead, layer upon layer of government initiated and, and, and certainly approved by the Supreme Court. It's all wrong, okay? Now you've got another branch of government, the executive branch. The executive branch of government, uh, you, you'll find the, the president issuing executive orders, okay? He gets a, a thing typed up, he, he signs it, they put it in the Federal Register, and it's now a law. The Environmental Protection Agency was started by an executive order signed by Richard Nixon. It didn't even go through Congress. Right? So they're making law with executive orders. Is that proper? Not if the first sentence in the Constitution has any meaning. All legislative powers are in Congress. Right? But that first sentence even says, herein granted. Herein granted where? In the pages of the Constitution. And I defy anybody to find education, housing, uh, transportation, energy, medicine, foreign aid. I defy anybody to find that in the Constitution. It's not there. So what we've got is a rule developing by a powerful few who set the tone and most congressmen, most senators have as their main goal getting reelected, not obeying the Constitution, not obeying their oath to the Constitution of the United States. Their main goal is to get reelected. And so they will do what the oligarchy in the building wants, what the oligarchy that is building, I should say, what they want done. Uh, in order to get fa favorable treatment, in order to get uh, favorable treatment by the press and by the television and, and so forth. And unfortunately, it's undoing our country. We have an oligarchy in the building. It, it's growing, all right? The headquarters, we say, is at the Council on Foreign Relations in New York City, a private organization started in 1921 to promote the idea of world government. Forget the Declaration of Independence. Forget the Constitution. Let's have a world government run by us. And so an oligarchy in a nation would become an oligarchy running the entire planet. Wow. Is this something that some people really want? Yes, indeed. It's something that some people really want.